The first time I saw Mad Max, I was just a kid. My uh, brother had it on VHS. I would have been about seven or eight. That opening sequence of that car chase with those low camera angles. You know, the cars are racing and out comes Goose and jumps on his Z1000 and fishtails it down the hill and off he goes and joins in the chase. From that moment on, I was hooked. I'm Scott Horwood. I'm originally from Wollongong. I am a Kawasaki and a Mad Max fan, and I built myself a goose replica. So down here at Surfside Motorcycle Garage, they've got the club with the historic rego, so that's how I met Trev. I can't trust anyone else with it, um, but I definitely trust Trev to work on it and get it running sweet for me. Growing up and then seeing it in the movies and then wanting to get it as you get older, it was one of those things that just dawned on me one day. I started looking and researching into the Kawasaki Z1000s, worked out that the movie was a 77 Z1000. I found one in San Francisco, I brought it over, and then the Speedo cable snapped and that was the last straw. Yeah, you could say it was definitely a wild goose chase to find the, find the goose bike. Riding this bike on the road, an open road, is it's great. It's old school, it's five speed. It wants you to wring its neck. It's a bit more comfortable than some of the more modern sports bikes. It's quick through the gears to get from first gear to fifth gear. You end up becoming sort of at one with the bike because there is so much involved in riding it. These bikes were made back in the time when there wasn't freeways and motorways and they were meant to ride along roads like the old Pacific Highway, but it, it loves to get out and unleash. I think it's one of the most iconic bikes in Australian history, in Australian movie history. So the bike is a 1978 Kawasaki Z1000, so 1000 cc capacity, four cylinders in line, um, four carburetors. It's got Makuni carbs. The bike was in reasonable nick and we pulled it apart, put it back together and fixed things along the way. So the motor's never been taken apart. It's still original from the day it came out of the factory and it's still running well. The fairing come from a company in California called Airtech. They do a goose kit, so they made the fairing. The exhaust is a crossover exhaust from Japan, so dual megaphone, four into two exhaust. Nice and loud when you have the baffles out. Um, the blue lights, absolute nightmare to find. The radio in the movie, obviously, is just a prop. It doesn't work. Someone worked out that it was a a 1970 alarm clock. So I'd say my personality is one that if I take on a task, I'm out to see it through. I was driven to get it right because I wanted to do the bike justice. I wanted to do the fans of the movie and the fans of the goose bike justice. And I think I've managed to achieve that.